welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, I'm going to make my version of ramen noodle bowls. And in this pot, I got water, and I'm out of my homemade chicken broth and stock in the freezer. So, water, and then I use some of the chicken flavored bouillon base. And I also used four packets of the, like, the little chicken flavor pack that comes in your ramen noodle packs. You don't have to. And then I have a uh, large onion that's chopped up in here. And it's coming up to a good bowl. And we're going to put our veggies. These are the veggies I'm using because this is what I have some carrots and a good two uh, heaping tablespoons of some uh, freshly grated ginger. And a quick tip on your ginger if you ain't going to use, you know, it's use it up quickly you know I actually uh, break bond off of pieces and stored it in a freezer ziplock baggie sealed up tight and then I take take it out of the freezer and take my little microplane and grate it frozen it grates good and then when I'm done I put it back in the bag and put it in the freezer and there you have ginger when you need it and you ain't wasting any and we're going to put in a big container of some sliced mushrooms. I'm going to put a good heaping tablespoon of some garlic in. And you basically just cook your veggies a little bit. We like our veggies still a little bit uh, crunchy so we don't cook ours all the way down. So this is your soup and veggie base. This is going to go over your ramen noodle bowls. When I get to the point that I like my veggies, then I'm going to put in some spinach leaves I need to use up and they'll wilt down on the broth. Now the bouillon is salty and so is the little flavor pack things. So I ain't gonna put no salt in it yet. I'll taste it later when everything has blended. I put lots and lots of pepper. Allergies are bothering us real bad and so when my allergies are bothering me or I'm sick with the cold and stuff a good bowl of soup or ramen noodle just soothes my soul. So the leaves are falling and it's getting fall and that ragweed and um, all that stuff is just making our allergies out of whack. I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes and we'll come back to it. For each bowl you need a pack of noodles for like, like adult size. But if you're kids you could probably uh, break this up and and one pack and serve uh, two kids or three maybe. And then for um, another garnish topping, I'm going to soft boil some eggs back here. First time I've ever boiled a soft boil. Where the white is still all done, but the yolk is warmed up inside, but it's still running. And then you cut it and put it on top of your bowl of ramen. When I get to that point, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm also going to add a little bit of soy sauce, which is salty, so no extra, uh, so don't put no salt to it. And uh, a few drops of some sesame oil. So this is to your taste, however you want. I'm probably going to put a couple tablespoons of some soy sauce. And this is the reduced sodium. Just Probably about a tablespoon for this big size pot of sesame oil. If that's too, that's sesame seed oil to your taste. Stir this and let this go for a few minutes. Okay, we're coming with our spinach leaves. You can put any veggies you want. Broccoli, bean sprouts. I wouldn't cook the bean sprouts. I'd put them on top of your, as a garnish. The veggies are cooked enough for us. And I'm just going to turn the pot off and the uh, heat, the pot, the pot's still hot so it'll wilt that spinach good. Put water over my eggs, cook them for about five minutes. As soon as it starts steaming and blubbing a little bit, I'm going to let them go for about a minute or two. And then turn off the heat and cover it with the lid. I'll let them go about another three minutes probably off the heat. And that should be our perfect soft bowl 
okay. Like I said, this is the first time me doing soft boiled eggs. I've always done hard boiled eggs, making deviled eggs and uh, eggs on stuff, but first time ever soft boiled. And I'm gonna cook these, like the package says, and drain them from that water in a colander and put them in a bowl. And then we'll ladle out our portions of our ramen noodles. Okay, we got our bowl here now with our ramen noodles in it. Ladle it over some veggies. Ladle mm -hmm. us over some broth. However much broth you want. We like ours with a lot of broth. Now, I use chicken eggs, and chicken eggs are hard to peel. I've tried boiling them like I did just now. I've tried their pressure cooker. I've done the pressure cooker. I've done the oven. And if you're using chicken eggs, sometimes you get some perfect ones. Sometimes they look poor pitifully, but we work with what we got. Slice it in half, and it's not quite soft boiled as I would like, but it'll be a work in progress for me. And we're putting two per bowl. Uh, sriracha. This is just to our liking, our taste. Some sriracha. We want to sprinkle in some seaweed flakes to give it a umami flavor. Always serve it with a spoon. And then our chopsticks. And so there you have it. My version of a ramen noodle bowl. Now it's not authentic. It's not traditional at at whatsoever. You can get authentic ramen noodle in your grocery store in the off, um, international aisle or sometimes they have it around the regular pasta. I'm using what was in my pantry to use some stuff up. You can put any veggies you want to in it. You can put tofu. You can switch your broth out and put do beef or veggie. You can put anything you want to. Any kind of toppings, green onions. I wish I had some green onions but I don't. So there you have it to get my ramen noodle bowl fixed.